Hey, sports card collectors and investors, how is everybody doing today? I was having a couple of thoughts over lunch, actually, um, just on the sports card market in general, and I thought that I would make a video, talk about it, reach out to the viewership and kind of get your opinions on this, because uh, I think it's important. I just kind of wanted to get, you know, kind of a temperature check, so to speak. Um, and so, but before I get into it, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. We have over 250 videos on the channel now, all about collectibles, collectibles investing, whether that be sports cards or comic books or graded video games or graded action figures. We're tackling all of it here, wrapped into a nice personal finance bow. So thank you very much for joining and we will go ahead and dig into it. So I guess what I want to talk to you about is <clears throat> certainly in September, you know, it seemed like the sports card market had definitely cooled off, you know, just as far as sales go. Now, on the high-end sales, we definitely saw some huge high-end sales. So, at the top of the market, didn't necessarily see much of a fall-off there as far as kind of the, the big hitters, you know, making their purchases. We've seen that. But I'm talking about more on the lower levels. On the lower levels of the sports card market, and it's not even just with sports card sales. And, you know, and I see it, and, and look, I don't have, you know eBay data or something that's telling me, look, um, you know, here's X amount of sales and here's where they were, you know, previously. I just feel it. It's something that's in my gut. You know, when I'm watching content, when I'm watching other content, uh, sports card content or, you know, sports card investing type content, you don't see as much of it. First off, there are channels that I used to watch that I don't, that I don't see anymore. Um, and also just kind of the feeling, just the overall feeling of it just doesn't seem to be there right now. And, you know, I could be wrong, but um, among collectors and investors, it just seems almost like a cooling off period. Now, I'm sure there are still a lot of other collectors that are that are buying and selling, etc. Um, but I just haven't seen as much of kind of the excitement and also just, you know, in general, it just seems like it's been a little bit off lately. Are you seeing that? Am I am I missing something? And I'm not saying that, look, sports cards are, are not being bought and sold. They are for sure. Um, but it just seems like there's been a little bit of a shift from what we had. Now, look, we had literally the hottest market in sports cards over the last six months. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all that it's not, you know, as red hot as it was. Um, but I think that, you know, a lot of the wonder is, you know, is, was that it, was that just kind of a pop, you know, and now we're, now we're kind of just cooling off and that's kind of, we're, we're going to go back to kind of more of a, a normal way, um, or kind of what it was, you know, a few years ago. I wonder that too, because, you know, a lot of this stuff can be cyclical with collectibles. Um, you know, and again, it's not to say people aren't buying and selling cards. It's just, are people leaving the hobby? Are people, you know, I know there's a lot of people that said, well, oh, these are just the flippers coming in and leaving. And maybe that is true. Maybe it's people that just came in, they were trying to flip cards and, and now they're kind of over it. They're tired of it and they just want out. I do think that, you know, football season was interesting because I know that leading up to football season, I heard a lot of people talking about how like fantasy football is going to translate over to the card market and the card, you know, card market is going to explode week by week depending on how players perform. And I just remember last season, that was not the case with, with football cards or the seasons previous to that. When Christian McCaffrey went off in a game last year, his cards did not double in price. Just didn't happen. It was, you know, quarterbacks would, would do well. But even then, even last season, when we look at that, it was really Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, maybe a couple of other QBs got hot. I remember Dak Prescott cards got hot last season because the Cowboys started 3-0 and and then they lost their, their next three games. They were three and three, and his prices came back down to earth. But And then with the slew of injuries in the NFL as well, I just wonder if it just kind of spooked people in general just on that because I do think there was a lot of buildup to football season, and you know it just has not it, it hasn't caught on. Now, new football product, of course, has, has been hot. You know, mosaic football has been expensive. Will it remain that way? I'll be curious to see. Um, and then also just, you know, what will prison football look like? What will optic football look like? You know, those those boxes and, and all that stuff is expected to be very, very expensive. And, you know, I don't know. I still think that that's going to hold value, meaning that I, I don't know if they're going to be $1,000 a box, but I know that I have a good feeling that they're not going to be $200 a box because I do think that there's still going to be a lot of demand for sealed wax. 
regardless of you know what's going on. I think because there are a lot of collectors and hobbyists and investors that are buying sealed wax and holding it and then selling it down the road or just holding it. So you know I do think product will remain expensive, but I'm really curious to see though is it going to be a thousand dollars a box or will it taper off? Will it come back down? And that'll be a real that, that'll be a big signal I think as to you know what's to come and what, kind of what's going on because it does I don't know it's just a gut feeling and you guys tell me am I crazy you know maybe maybe I'm wrong I mean I know that as a whole the last 30 days the last 40 days or so you know it's definitely cooled off for sure but you know what are your feelings do you think that that is something that is going to change do you think that once the holidays hit you know that everything kind of maybe gets back into the swing or you know we got a new basketball season coming up and then we have excitement for that new basketball season and you have prices prices go up. Do you think it might just be basketball? Talk, talk to me about baseball too because I'm not a big baseball card collector at all. Um, and so I'm wondering, is baseball kind of insulated from this? Are baseball cards still selling for, for what they have? You know, are, are you still buying and selling and is there still good volumes there? Because I'm not, I don't operate in the baseball card world very much outside of Project 2020. But, you know, with Project 2020, I feel like that's a great example of maybe just, you know, where I think back and it's like, look, you know, I don't think that anybody wants to have that feeling of that they're, you know, caught holding the bag on you know, on cards. So maybe it's just that everyone is a little bit more careful. I'm still buying cards, but I am just kind of, I'm bidding on auctions. If I win, great. If I don't win, I move on to the next. Um, I'm just being w very careful, very picky, very picky. So, um, but, you know, I've, I've heard from others that there's great buying opportunities in certain segments, certain sports, certain players. Tell me what, what you guys are kind of pinpointing. And I know that, I look, I know that a lot of people are still buying for sure. And I'd like to just kind of know, you know, what sorts of trends are you guys seeing? Because like I said, this is just something I was thinking about over lunch. And, you know, I wanted to reach out to my viewership, get some feedback. And do you think that, you know, this was just kind of a perfect storm of events, COVID hit in March, stimulus money, et cetera, et cetera, you know, gets pumped into the economy and some people bought cards with it. Um, and then also, you know, look, you know, are people, are job losses and everything starting to impact now? You know, are people starting to feel more like real life issues to where they maybe don't have as much money on cards? Um, and so tell me what you guys think, because I'm curious. This is more of just an open forum, open discussion, um, just because, you know, it's been kind of a gut feeling for me. Um, like I said, I'm still buying. It's just, you know, I'm just, just kind of careful and cautious. And honestly, it's not even just with sports cards. It's also with stocks, with with real estate, kind of with everything, just kind of in a wait and see type mode, um, you know, and just see kind of what happens. And maybe it's part, partly the election too coming up, just kind of uncertainty there. And there can be volatility, which can be a good thing if you're, if you're kind of paying attention to how to, how to work that best. But, you know, and maybe it's just, there's some unknowns here, you know, over the next, uh, you know, I guess really through the next six weeks until we get through the election, there's some federal reserve stuff, there's some, some economy stuff that I think needs to be worked out, you know, unemployment rates, you know, all the all the things that are kind of going on in the world outside of, you know, outside of the hobby. Um, you know, I'm just curious on what you guys think. So, hey, get in the comments. Let's chat. I want to hear your viewpoint and I appreciate you stopping by. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm here every day with new videos and, and I will keep on coming. So thank you very much and we'll talk to you again later, guys.